Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. As we continue to look at the Hall of Faith, we look today at Jephthah in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32. We find the story also in Judges chapter 10, in Judges chapter 11, in Judges chapter 12, and verse 7. That tells you that this guy reigned as a judge for six years. So as we look at Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 32, it tells us, and what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah, about David and Samuel, and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouth of lions. So they made mention of these men and their achievements. And the writer was saying, it is so much men that exercise faith and women in the Lord Jesus Christ based upon what God says to them. And so today, Jephthah is no one strange or unusual, but one of the company among those who had faith in God. Jephthah is an illegitimate child and he was despised at one time that he had to leave where he was living and go away but then he rose to be the deliverer of his people because he delivered Israel from the Amorites. He illustrates the truth that faith enables a man or a woman to rise above his or her birth, what happened there and then, and even the very environment in which such one live to make history for God, to be rewarded for their faith. So the children of Israel forsook the Lord. They turned to idolatry. And now the Philistines and the Amorites were fighting against the Jews. They were on the east side of the Jordan. Israel was powerless before them. They abandoned the worship of Jehovah and as we say, serve Eden gods. So at this time in their life, they were not dependent upon God. They were not trusting God for the promises that he has promised them. But then the Israelites remember what God did for them. And they begin to cry out to God. Initially, he refused their pleas. And he cited several instances of past deliverance. The history of what he did for them, he reminded them that after each deliverance, they, instead of worshiping, continued to turn away from him. In Judges chapter 10 and verse 13, as they continued to pray and put away their idols, God listened to their plea he listened to their cry their misery called forth his mercy so the armies of Ammon were camped in Gilead and Israel had assembled in Mizpah the men of Gilgad was seeking a military leader in Judges 10 17 and 18 here comes the man of the hour. His name is Jephthah. He is described as a Gileadite, a mighty man of valor, 
as we say he was rejected by his own countrymen so he wandered off from among them and became the leader of a band of outlaws so we can understand from the scriptures that he knows how to fight so the elders of gilead now asked egypt to lead the armies of israel against the ammonites promising to recognize him as their head as their leader if he would defeat the foes so jephthah had a plan and he springs into action and he sent messengers to the king of ammon this was to give the king of ammon an opportunity to explain his aggression against Israel. The king complained. And this was his complaint. It says, When the nation of Israel marched from Egypt to Canaan, they had stolen their land. Remember, the land is what God promised to Abraham and his people. So Jephthah knew that this promise was made by God. And this is how we are going to see him as a man of faith. One who believes in what God says. So he knew that this land was promised to the Jews. So when the Ammonites were saying this is our land and the Jewish people stole it, Jephthah explained clearly that this was not so, but that the Lord God has given instruction concerning them, the Amorites. If anybody needed to leave the land, it is the Amorites. So Israel took possession of the land by defeating the Amorites. So the king of Haman still refused to withdraw his claim on the land. And Jephthah prepared for war. Jephthah knew that he could hold fast to the word of God by faith. And we will see that his faith was rewarded. Jephthah's service as a judge in Judges 12 and verse 7 lasted for six years. Then he died. But we see in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 32 that he is listed, he is cited along with Gideon and Barak and Samson because all these men had put their faith in God. They trusted him. So even though they might have had problems in their lives at some point or the other they are men and women in hebrews chapter 11 that demonstrated great faith jephthah believed what god says and was now willing to fight for it what spiritual lesson can we learn from Jephthah. It is saying to us that a person's background does not stop one from being used of God in his service. That won't prevent God from working mightily in such person's life. Remember, this guy was actually abandoned by his countrymen because they said he was an illegitimate child. 
the Bible did not say who his mother was, but the Bible mentioned him as one who was born, as it were, out of wedlock. We also see that we must be careful about the promises one make. Because if we continue in this story, we will see that this same Jephthah made what? A rash promise. And then he had to fulfill this promise by giving up again his one and only daughter. Because he says, if I win this war, I will give up as a sacrifice the first thing that comes out to meet me. And when he got home from war, it was his daughter who came out to meet him and he had to give that daughter as a sacrifice. I believe God does not believe in human sacrifice, only the sacrifice of animals. But this was a pledge that he made. So the key facts we are saying here that this man, Jephthah, believed the word of God and his faith was rewarded. Today we too can trust God no matter what our background is. If we have faith in God, believe the words that he says, walk in obedience to it, in the direction in which he says this thing will go, then God will reward our faith. God bless you. Thank you again for your kind support. Please like, please subscribe, please share. And again, don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.